Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Tristan from Cheeseburger, maybe we call it Cheeseburger Marketing. It kind of seems to fit better. Uh, cheeseburger Startups. Um, so this is part two of our Weebly series. And what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna add a e-commerce store to this particular site. So we don't really have anything to sell quite yet. But I'm gonna show you how to do it anyways. So this is our main page that we just finished building. Let's go ahead and head back over to our Weebly dashboard. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create an e-commerce page. That's really easy. Come back over here to Pages, Add New, Store Page. Super complicated. And we don't want this one to have any headers like that. Save and exit. And this is it. It's really simple. It's really easy to do. Drag over your tiles. Uh, we're going to hit this and we're going to say Store. And then over here we can start adding products to the store. Now again, I don't actually have anything that I can sell. So... So what can I sell? Pokeballs. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so just I don't have any good Pokeball pictures, so we're going to instead post some pictures of the things that I've made. Uh, for those of you who don't know, aside from creating websites and all this other fun stuff that I do, uh, I actually really enjoy resin casting. I you know make little molds and then you cast them in resin and you do some cool stuff with it. It's like this little skull of something that I made for Halloween last year. All right, so let's go ahead and add some other images. Now, of course, this is just something I did in my free time. This is not something that we're actually planning on selling, but we're going to sell this thing for 25 bucks a pop. And I only have one of these. Oh, you have to upgrade for that. And then those are your different options. So let's go ahead and save our product. Let's edit our storefront, that's why. There we go. And then you can just keep adding products like this. So for example, if you were to click on this, it gives you all the information about, you know, all the information that you put in here. You can share it to Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. You can get the quantities that you want. You can add it to your cart. Typically the carts are run through PayPal. Uh, you do have some other options as well but you know that's uh, entirely up to you so if you have something that you're already using use it but that's how you add a store to this now other options would be to uh, just create individual pages and program them out the way that you want them to put in a gallery for example use the gallery images as links and then take those back over to your product pages and then what you can do is you can add a paypal button and that way people can actually pay you for the product from there and then you'll receive a notification as soon as they pay for the product and that's pretty cool as well. Make sure to include shipping in all of this because that can be expensive depending on what it is you're selling. Well, let's go ahead and publish this. Come back over here, refresh, and now we have a store. So let's click on the store real quick. Here's our product. You can add this to your cart. There's your cart. Head over to checkout. And that's all good. And there's your PayPal. So I sign all that up, and you're done. Pretty easy, pretty simple. And that's all wrong. I don't live there anymore. Anyways, that's how you do it. That's how you get an e-commerce page to your Weebly site. Hope this video has been helpful. And if you have any questions about actually building the site, check out the last video. It goes into a little bit more detail about how we put all of this together. So that's it for me today. Have yourselves a great day. Have yourselves a cheaper. Ciao.